The Free National Movement's Red Splash event was held here in the capital at Montague. It also took place on four family islands today. Our Clint Watson was along for most of them. Here's his report. Red Splash sweeping the islands of the Bahamas Monday. Prime Minister Hubert Ingram riding the wave beginning in his constituency, North Abaco. All over the Bahamas today, people are celebrating on this Easter Monday. Because all over the Bahamas, people are turning to color red. We are on our way to another victory in the election. We want you and Abaco here to hold the fort. Send me back Edison from the south. And I like it or not. The Treasure Key Beach is another example on the island of Abaco of the government's redevelopment project with the beaches. This particular area used to be bush. It's now cleared down, giving Abaconians access to plush beach in Treasure Key. The government embarked through local government uh, on a project to develop this to what it is today. Historically, every time we had a holiday, we'd tr have to access it through Treasure Key the Resort. They were giving the locals a lot of headaches and so now with this project locals now have access to one of the top 10 best beaches in the world and the government has reserved this five acre area for local uh, use and this is this is unbelievable that we now can come out here unimpeded and have this wonderful wonderful setting Abaconians, while enjoying the view and enjoying the sun and greeting the Prime Minister, seem convinced that the FNM is a right choice for the Bahamian people. I think they're doing a pretty good job. I haven't seen anyone do anything else better. Well, I support the FNM because I know they deliver. What has the Free National Movement done, done in your opinion for Abaco? Everything. Everything. Airport, dock, roads, water, everything. From Abaco, Prime Minister then headed to what he called FNM country in Grand Bahama. There he greeted a large crowd of supporters and that's when he told them some good news. It was short, sweet and in the people's words, spicy. You've been good to the FNM and the FNM has been good to you. We're having some hard times now, but things are going to get better. You stick with us. Now call me Big Eye, but I want all five seats in Grand Bahama. This handful, all of them. I spoke to I spoke to Bimini today, and they told me the only way that Obi Wilson will win if he get washed in the blood. And Grand Bahamians say despite hard times, they're convinced the FNM is still the party of choice. And if anybody can bring them out of tough times, they'd say it's Hubert Ingram and the FNM. Freeport is nothing else but red. If you ain't red, you might as well be dead. Tell them check the crowd today. This is red. If you ain't red, you're dead. All the way, all the way, red! The PLB never did nothing for Grand Bahama. And I know that for sure. What do you feel the FNM can do for Grand Bahama? They can do more than what they're doing. They're going to do more. Just give them five years to prove it. Speaking privately to reporters, Mr. Ingram confirmed that he's now reached the point where it's time to ring the bell. In terms of when the election is going to be held, and we will lay it out tomorrow. Cabinet will meet in the morning, and shortly thereafter, um, I'll make a, a statement, um, which should be ready in time for the one o'clock news. <clears throat> In Grand Bahama, Clint Watson, ZNS News.